Hi, everyone. Hi, um, I've Shani's just gone live on Instagram. No. <laughs> I've just gone live on Instagram to let everyone know over there to come to Facebook because we're so excited about today's interview. Sandy is in her 50s. She's 52. Is that right, Sandy? 52 now. Just had a birthday. And she is yeah. such a mega babe. So being in your 50s, there's just no excuse to let your body go or let your health go is one thing. We're going to tell you about Sandy's story, but she's also did the program back in 2016. We're super excited. Um, I've wanted to talk to Sandy for a while. For two years. <laughs> And it's 12.30 at night where Sandy is right now. In so that's, Georgia. that's how committed she is to just wanting to inspire you to take that step if you're not quite ready or you're trying to be ready but you don't know how. Um, that's why we're going to chat with Sandy today. So thank you for coming on at like 12.30 at night. You look beautiful. One of the biggest questions we have for you is it's two years since you did the program. You lost weight really fast. Everyone says to you, don't lose weight fast because you'll bounce back. Why haven't you? You still maintain with your exercise and you keep active. You do more things because once you stop those, and that's what I fell into the first time of why I gained the weight is because I stopped doing those things. Explain kind of what, how you got to this po point in wanting to have that healthy lifestyle back in 2016. Right. Well, what happened was um, somewhere around 35, 36, I stopped exercising and I'd always been healthy started exercising. And then in 2014, I think I stopped. And I don't know why life gets busy. You know, I was working full time. And I'm like, I just can't get motivated to get into the gym again. Um, because it was like an hour, an hour and 20 minutes a day to do it. I'm like, I just can't do it. I was commuting an hour to work back and forth. And I'm just exhausted. I said, I need something that I can do that's easy that I can follow and do at home without having to go do that. And then you guys popped up and I looked at it and I'm like, this, I can do this because I did it before work, 30 minutes. And the food is not really an issue for me. I know a lot of women struggle with food, but for me, the food was, was easy. You know, some of the new things like your coke and aminos and things like that, I had to learn what that was. But it was really just making a commitment to saying, you know, enough is enough. And because we were fat and I didn't like feeling fat. And so it's like, what am I going to do about it? So you got to find what works for you. And this was something that was doable and it's still doable to this day. And so did you start and then hubby came on board with you? He, um, my husband did not do fit dad. He just ate the way I ate. And then he just lost weight, which was great. And we gave up drinking. So, yeah, what was that like? So before, this was a big thing for you guys, and this is also a big thing for a lot of people. For a lot of people, is every night you were drinking a bottle and, of and wine. That was, that was how you survived life. Yeah, at least because you know it just becomes easy. Not liquor, but just wine, and um, and then you just become lethargic and you get lazy, and it's like, what am I going to do? And and then you're like, well, I don't care. And then you're like, well, I do care. <laughs> <laughs> but it messes with your head, you know, it's like, what am I going to do with this? So, but the first week was the hardest, you know, just, yeah. it's like every day you're like, oh, I want to drink a wine. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, I can't. But once you get through that, it becomes easier. And so, but we've added that back in now and, you know, we get to enjoy that, but not like it was before. That's so good. So you should also sharing so with people you can. a bottle of wine a night still. No. <laughs> Going back there. <laughs> so you're just what, having a glass? Like yeah. how often are you drinking now? Um, we drink a couple times a week, sometimes more on the weekend, just depends, sometimes not. You know, we went through a spurt where three, four weeks we didn't drink anything. So. It's not a part of your life anymore. It's just a small thing choice. that you do for enjoyment and choice. Yeah, choice is a good word. And I think for a lot of people, they think, do I have to give up alcohol forever? And some families, they do. They cut it out forever. And some like yourselves, you know, you're in your 50s and you still want to enjoy life. So you're going to have a drink a couple of times a week. You're maintaining that healthy lifestyle through the week, still exercising and eating healthy, which mm -hmm. is so good. How many kids have you got? Pardon me? I have two boys, a 30-year-old yeah. and a 22-year-old. So you're free. I am. Yep. 22, just. <laughs> and have you been through menopause yet, Sandy? I am just in it. 
Okay. And talk, I'd love to know that because a lot of women have a lot of excuses and obviously I haven't hit menopause yet, but a lot of people have excuses that they can't be healthy when they're in menopause. It's too hard. How has having a healthy lifestyle been able to help you with menopause? I know that would be an incredible um, question to answer for a lot of mums. Well, I only been in it for about three months. Um, okay. Of course, I, I chose to go on estrogen. Um, yeah. Just because I didn't want to suffer. <laughs> yeah. It, yeah. So I did. And it's been wonderful. I haven't had any effects with, with it. Um, yeah. And I haven't had any issues with weight gain, with, you know, mood swings. Um, it's helped with, you know, hot flashes, things like that. But that was my personal choice. Um, yeah. To do, versus trying to do something naturally. But, you know, the freaking hot flashes were just driving me crazy. <laughs> How much women go through in their lives, say, hey, like, you got to actually birth the kids and you go through menopause, whereas we just kind of cruise along, having a very easy time, <laughs> get the benefit of everything, but no pain. Right. So were there points in, I know it was a long time ago for you with the program, but were there points where you just wanted to quit or you were just so in, in the game, there was just no stopping you? Um, I was in. I started it and I wasn't going to quit. So there was, there was no quitting. You know, there was days I didn't want to do it. I didn't want to get up early to do it before work and then, you know, commute an hour to go do it. And I was tired and, you know, I packed my veggies for snacks and they're like, Oh, what are you eating today? Rabbit food. <laughs> I, worked in a dental, <laughs> I worked in a dental office and so it was like you know so they'd make fun of me and I'm like yeah okay whatever you know it didn't, <laughs> so you know it's what I did and um so I guess when I, I'm the type of person when I'm going to commit to something and I was tired I was sick and tired of being the way I was so it was either yeah. I was going to make this work and do the whole thing and see what happened and yeah. um and so that's what we did. And, and my whole family um, was involved in it. And so we have a, my mother-in-law that lives with us. And um, she's 70, 74. She ate the same way we ate. You know, whatever we were doing, she would do. And however we could. Wow. Yep. Mm -hmm. well, yep. that's cool. that, that is so amazing. Thank you for sharing that. I didn't know that. That's really amazing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it was like, whatever we're going to do, it's not, you know, I didn't have the struggle like my husband, well, he wants to eat this or he wants that. He would just eat whatever I fed him because otherwise he'd starve. But <laughs> 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 and was there a point ever within the program where it really clicked for you and you kind of were getting your fitness back and you were just like, right, I'm on, this is it now. And you were on a roll. I think within the first, like the second week, you know, cause I lost, quite a bit of weight in the first week and you know you lose water weight and mm -hmm. whatever that but the second week you get into that groove and and everything's just going you know, your exercises are just coming along and your food's coming along you get your you know you're prepping more so you prep for your lunches so you take everything you need to go to work so you're not sitting there like oh what am I going to eat so the first two weeks you're you know you're trying to get all that together so after that, it was it was pretty good. And I had the goal, you know, I wanted to be, you know, fit and lean for my birthday, for my 50th birthday, because we went to Cabo and I wanted to be in a bikini and I didn't want to feel fat, you know, so yeah. because I knew what it feels like to be thin, but I wanted to be that again. But yeah. not with just being a gym rat, my son's a gym rat and I just don't want to. I don't want to do that. Yeah. So, and you wore your bikini in Cabo because your oh, bikini yes, beautiful. Did. It was I such did. a nice bikini. I remember thinking, where did you get that yeah. from? <laughs> Everyone will want to know, actually. I was like, oh, my God, that bikini, Sandy, where did you get it? <laughs> <laughs> so that's what you wore in Cabo. That was your gold bikini. It was, yeah. Wow. And wow. when did when did people start to notice when you started the journey? When did people start to notice the results? So, or I guess when did you notice and when did other people start to notice? Maybe about eight pounds. You know, you can tell a huge difference in your clothes. Um, and then friends and family. I didn't see them very, very often, my family, but friends probably within, um, you know, probably within the first couple of weeks. Did anyone say anything to you? Because some people, it's such a 
touchy subject. You don't want to say anything to someone. So that's why we find some people will say, oh, no one's even said anything to me. So I yeah. just wondered, did people say stuff to you like, wow, Sandy, you've lost weight or you're looking good or whatever? Oh, yeah, eventually they did. You know, I mean, of course, of course. you know, you know the time, my sister especially, and then that next year, um, my sister started following the eating habits that I had, and she ended up losing um, like 35 pounds. She didn't wow. join the program. She didn't do any exercises. She's 10 years older than I am. Um, wow. And so she just, she didn't know what to do, and she works long hours. And I said, just eat this way. She was feeling amazing after she'd lost all the weight? Mm -hmm. Yep. Eating, eating the way that you've taught everybody to eat. So by you taking that step and going, enough's enough, I need to change, you've had a huge ripple effect across your entire family. Mm -hmm. just How does that make you feel like your mother-in-law, your sister, your husband, like you all just, that was you that initiated that? Everyone follow Sandy. <laughs> <laughs> it's just the way that it is. I don't know why. Not everybody's family is like that, but my husband always been like that he's always been okay we're gonna do this and he'll be supportive and he'll jump on so yeah. like, even when we went to um we were in Destin three weeks ago um and we went to a diner and he's like okay we're gonna order eggs and ham and tomato <laughs> so <laughs> so we could order healthy and you know not have you know the bread and the potatoes and all that stuff even though that's what he would like to have and he does yeah. get to have that stuff you know, every now and then, but not too often. Um, if you're just tuning in now, we're talk chatting to Sandy. Sandy, it's 12.30 at night where Sandy is right now. How much of a babe does she look like? Give her a shout out. She looks so glamorous <laughs> for late at night. 12.30 on a Saturday night. Yes. Well, how, that's a party night. Have you been drinking tonight, Sandy? Wine <laughs> <laughs> <Right> at dinner. <laughs> <laughs> four hours ago, four and a half hours ago. We one went, bottle or one glass? Yeah, we went out to so it was good. Oh, nice. So we're so excited you stayed up to talk to us. Thank so Sandy, you. if Sandy's 52. She did our program back in 2016 and she's been maintaining since then and been a huge support in our community as well for people starting. You've been such a driver as well for the positivity in the community and it wanting to be that positive space for, you know, men and women to be able to come in and feel safe, but also at the same time, not be negative and whinge, but, you know, step up and, and take accountability and be positive because when you're positive, it has that ripple effect. And you've been such a huge um, support in the community for that. So thank you so much for just hanging around. Right. Well, you got to pay it back sometimes, you know. Absolutely. You can do and try to help. And were you always so positive? Uh, yes. You've always been a really happy, positive person. That work a long time ago, and you read a lot of self-help books and things like that. But, you know, negativity always creeps in there. That's part of human nature. But with with this part, yeah, I've been pretty pretty good about it. That's so yeah. good. So another thing we get a lot is people say, I'm over 40. I'm over the hill. How am I ever going to look any good i've had them i'm past my prime but you're over 50 and you look better than most 20 year olds would yeah tell us about that tell talk to that 40 year old that says that she's too old and i'm never gonna look good again <laughs> you can you know it's in your mind um it's a mindset that if i can i can if i think i can't i'm right isn't that how that saying goes yeah yeah, yeah. yeah and, exactly um, right but yeah it's just it's everybody's struggle is different um, but if you think you can do it, you can do it. And you just take one day at a time and you just follow the program. Okay. Today I'm going to do the exercises that are on there. No matter if you have to get up at five o'clock and do hill sprints in the dark, you, you do whatever you need to do, or if you have to do them after work and then you just follow the, the, what you say to eat. And that's all there. It's so simple. And I think a lot of women just make excuses and, that's one thing that I did not do. I didn't make any excuses. I said, I'm going to do the program for the eight weeks. So I'm going to follow it to the T. So that's what yeah. we did. And I had great results. And so I think when you put the effort in, no matter how long it takes, that you're going to get there. If it's one round or two rounds or three rounds, it's everybody's journey as their own journey. Absolutely. So, how much did you lose? How many pounds? I started out at 168. 
and I think I ha hadn't been that heavy and I don't even know when. And I ended up at 138 um, when I finished the program. And now I'm about 142. Oh, so it's a good, a good stable weight for me. Yeah, actually, one thing that we get a lot of messages about from people in, you know, of all ages, right up into their 60s, will say, I'm looking the best now than I have in my entire life. And I know that's true for me. Um, and I just think a lot of people think once they get over, you know, 40, it's all over. But there's, we get messages, honestly, hey, all the time of mums and dads saying they're looking the best now than they have in their entire life pre-kids, which is but, amazing. Is that the same for you? It is, definitely. Yeah, I, I totally look way better than I did when I was 25. Amazing. Yeah, so, it's amazing. I Show the photos again of Sandy. I didn't take care of myself then. I didn't do vitamins then. I mean, I just didn't do a lot of stuff that I should have done then. This before and this photo, I remember this coming in back in 2016. You sent your results through of, you know, you and your black underwear, your before photo, and then in that hot, sexy bikini, <laughs> I was like, oh, my God. And when you told me, you know, you were, you're just 50, I was like, wow, what a babe. So you really are such an inspiration to show the older audience that, you know, you can absolutely not give up on yourself. Life is just beginning at 50. <laughs> I, I think it's really important that um, while listening to Sandy that you realise no one can do this but you. So basically Julius and I can be there and support you. We can give you, you know, the food to eat. We can give you the community of the most incredible men and women, mums and dads around the world that want to be positive, want to be healthy, want to be happy, we can give you that support, which is huge. But unless you take those steps to not put the junk in your mouth, to do the simple exercises every day and to just take one day at a time, unfortunately, you're not going to get the results. Like we can't physically do it for you. You've got to be the one that does it. And I know anyone that succeeded at any kind of health and fitness or healthy lifestyle or anything or changed their health, they will tell you the same thing. You've got to just stop the excuses and you've got to do it. So I guess if you're tuning in now and you're like, oh, I've really got to start or, you know, I had a, I was doing well for a week and then I quit or whatever the reason may be, you've got to just stop with the excuses in your head and know that you're worth it because I already know you're worth, you're worth it. You can do this. Hey, Julius, you know you're worth yes. it. You can actually do this, but you've got to be the one that goes, no, I'm not going to put that pie in my mouth. I'm not going to put that cheese in my mouth. I'm pie. not going to put <laughs> I'm not going to put that cake in my mouth or the glass of wine. I'm going to cut that out for a bit and just sort out my health, reset my body, because the best thing about when you do this, when you do any health, when you take a, that step to be healthy in your lifestyle and you cut out some things that may not be right for your body, you know, you might be creating a bit of an intolerance in your body, then you take those steps forward, you're basically resetting your body. So, Imagine your body is your, your your whole life is like a canvas and there's all this paint going on and on and on it. And then you all of a sudden reset it. So you paint that canvas clean again. So you've got a clean slate with health. And I know that for a lot of people that are in their 30s, their 40s, their 50s, their 60s even, that have decided to take the steps to get a healthy lifestyle, to become healthier and happier, do that little bit of exercise, put the right food in your body, you get amazing results like you really do notice your body and health is better than it's ever been so don't wish that you you know I wish I was still like I was when I was in my 20s or whatever or pre-kids because I promise you if you stick to this like if you stick to a healthy lifestyle you will probably get a better body and better health than you've ever had in your life so be excited about that. I think for me, especially when I started to lose my 30 kilos and for you, I stopped. I was constantly looking at other people and going, I wish I looked like them or imagine if I looked like them. And Julia said to me one day, stop it. You're hurting yourself by doing that. How about instead of wishing you look like that 25-year-old Instagram model or this one because I'm nearly 40, how about you just see what you can look like? What is, you know, what is the best version of Shani look like? So what is the best version of you look like rather than wishing that, you know, you had would like someone else or had someone else's butt or legs? I wonder what the best version of you looks like. How does it feel like we've got now... Over nearly 30,000 people in the community, I think it's getting up close to. Um, 
you are such an inspiration in there. Your photo still gets shared. You are incredible. How does it feel to not only inspire your family, like your mother-in-law, your sister, your husband, but you've inspired not only 30,000 people in our community, but we've got hundreds of thousands on our main page as well that have seen your photo and been so inspired by you, this 50-year-old sex bomb. She's just gorgeous. So how does it feel to inspire so many people? Well, I think it's it's gratifying to be able to give back to other women um, and help them with their struggles. Uh, because, I mean, in this community, that's the only where they're going to be able to get that and, and get that privacy here that they get. They're not going to get judged. Um, they're going to be loved and encouraged and uplifted um, to say, hey, you can do it wherever you're at today. You just take today as today. Don't worry about tomorrow. Don't worry about next week. Don't worry about tomorrow's exercise. Just focus on today you know, and what you need to accomplish for you. And so I just try to get on there and, and do what I can, you know, and help and, and just encourage. And I, and I think once you feel good about where you're at as a person, that you can do that. But you got to love yourself first. That is such a good point to just know that you're supported. I guess for our, our community, we get told all the time, as you know, that it's the best thing on the internet in the way of Facebook. People will just go on to go into our community just to, you know, read the positivity. And I know you've been a big driver as well to be like, don't post anything negative, you know, keep it positive. You can do this. Remember what you're writing is going to affect everyone else. So always look at the positive side of things. Um We've got a lady asking, I'm worried that I will start and stop. So what do you want to say to, to her? Just don't stop. I mean, it's that simple. I'm gonna, if you're going to put it in your mind, I'm going to stop, the last thing your mind's going to say is stop. No, I'm going to finish. I'm going to start and I'm going to finish. Not that I'm going to start and stop. I'm going to start, I'm going to finish what I start. Now that you're 52 and you've lost all of your weight and you're healthy and you're happy and you're fit, what would you say to the Sandy that used to be spending every night drinking, drinking. a bottle at least of wine with her husband and hating on yourself every day? Um, to do it sooner. <laughs> Get off your butt because, you know, I procrastinated about a couple of weeks, maybe a month before I did anything. But just to just to follow your heart and get in there and do it <laughs> because it's not as hard as it as it looks you know I think people just make excuses and we all can do that as humans well, any final words of any advice for anyone that's in a really shitty situation where they just want to start but they don't they want a healthy lifestyle but they keep making up excuses Basically, you back in 2016, how you felt, what would you say to people about, you know, taking that step to feel better? So I'd love to just hear your final words. Well, you know, for, for I think for individuals that are really struggling in that position that have self-doubt or really low self-esteem is to put up signs in your bathroom of what you want. Um take pictures of, of what you want to look like, um, um, put pictures and your affirmations on your refrigerator if that's your downfall um, to don't do it, you know, don't go in there. Those things will really help and um, to help um, maybe read some self-help things that will help you with your positive mindset that I can do it because a lot of women don't know if they can do it. Maybe they've never been healthy or exercise. But I think, again, within this group, with everybody in there uplifting women, that they can do it. So, and it's when you get that doubt, just come on and say, hey, you know, I'm struggling, you know. And, and I see that every day with, with women in there. So um, you can do it. Um, it's worth it. Whatever struggle you have to put yourself through to get there, at the end of the day, it's, it's your life, um, it's your health, and it's your family. And so you need to set the example for your family 
to do something and, and they're only going to follow your kids, your husband, whatever. They're going to follow you. You have to lead by example, and which is what you two have done with your family and with doing what you've shared here in the community.